No. <laughs> I do have exotic Eight ingredients, pots. but they are not illegal Oop, or controlled the substances. There we go, Hershey's. That's good. What in the world okay, so is this, that? This is the right piece of equipment. Okay. It's it's got a goofy name, and I think it's called the Coco Motion. <laughs> It is. It is. It's the Coco Motion. Beach Boys made it. Uh, by Mr. Coffee. It's like 40 bucks on Amazon. Yeah. And this thing's magical. It's magical. And it's made for making hot chocolate? It, it is. It is dedicated for this purpose. And no the magic, kidding. The magic in it is because it has a hot plate on the bottom. Yeah. And then this is a magnetic impeller yep. that so agitates spins. and yep. spins. Okay. With no... And so the cleanup is a... Here I am. Here's a promo mm -hmm. for Coco Motion, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've gone through a couple of different hot chocolate makers, and this is the one because there's no gears, and so it's very, very clean, very, very easy to clean, and it's it makes a very soothing humming noise while you're. I have something uh, similar at home. It's called my stove in a pot. That will work too. <laughs> that. But that, apparently, it will not be make it won't the best. My life. No, 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 my life. no, no. And well, this is the, again, life change comes with having the right equipment here regarding hot chocolate, anyways and the right ingredients. So, you know, we have the Coco Motion, which is what I had in the park the other day with Janice. Yeah. And it was so funny, because Eric was there sledding with the kids, her husband. And, you know, I said, hey, I'm making the best hot chocolate in Eastern Connecticut. And he's like, yeah, okay, right, whatever. <laughs> and then he takes a sip. And? He goes, you got to be kidding me. Did because he Because he was not expecting the best cup of hot chocolate that he's ever had in his entire life. Oh, that's I think this is, I have an extension this, cord in this my bag. This guy is awesome. Look at this. <laughs> Perfect. So, that's not that's not dust. That's straight sugar. So, also, uh, <laughs> the ingredients are important. Whole milk, pot, obviously. It must, be, it must be the rest of the marijuana that's in there. It's pot. <laughs> so, I do this for the kids. I do yeah. this, you know, fairly regular. I bring it in, especially on the days when we're sliding. Of course, for my family and friends, it's it's one of my things that I do. Whole milk. It really is called the, the Coco the Motion. Coco Motion. You can hear the song in your head, can't you? Yeah, can you I just can. sing it for us real quick? That's why I said the Beach Boys. Everybody's doing the brand new dance now. Come on, baby, drink from Coco Motion. There it is. You, I was thinking Perfect. Coco Motion. Oh, really? that's another one. I wasn't thinking that's that one. I said Beach Boys, that's what I was thinking. I was well, not let's hear that one. thinking let's hear that, that one. at all. I can't remember how it goes now. And the Beach Boys just played the other night. Down at Mohegan Sun, my daughter serves at Ballows, and she got to be the Beach Boys waitress for, wow. for them that night. They, the, the, the bill was two thousand dollars. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding you. They left her a big. They're ballers, dip. huh? Oh wow! Boy, they 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 ballow, ballow the Italian restaurant. You know, she was uh, thrilled because they sang to her. They, Very they cool. sang a, a Beach, Beach Boys song. She said, "I, I started to sing on the rules and didn't sing too loud." Yeah. No, but actually, my daughter can really sing. So. Yeah. Interesting though, but. Uh, Continue on. Sir. Yes, whole milk. No, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, we're not concerned about Weight Watchers right now. We're concerned <laughs> about life change. Hershey's cocoa, the real deal, unsweetened baking chocolate, sugar, and uh, there, there. Here's where the magic comes in, and there's different degrees of this magic. Is little bottle you well, let's talk about it. This, this is, is this is vanilla e extract. So, I mean, we're familiar with this. You, you know, we use it in cookies and whatnot, and it's very, very good. And just a tiny little drop makes for a very nice uh, flavor in this hot chocolate. And one of the things I like about it is that you can add different ingredients and kind of make it your own. So I brought a couple different ingredients this morning because I'm going to do something that I've actually never done before. It's gonna what? Get, it's going to get crazy up in here. <laughs> with, with the, I take hot chocolate kind of serious. You're going to make me lose my <laughs> mind up in here. I, I, I love life change. I love making <laughs> memories with people that, you know, it's a good thing. And, Mike, we've had some great conversations. Yes, we, we have. We've impacted each other's lives. Well, yep. I, I wanted to. Absolutely. So this is, this is where it gets really off the hook right here. So it's, like packaged it, it's packaged, but again, I so I've been on a number of trips over the years, building churches all over the world, and I have discovered something on these trips. Stay away from the tourist markets. They're they're just they all sell the same stuff. Yeah. If you really want a cool souvenir for your family and spend like no money, find a grocery store. Grocery stores are mint for souvenir shopping in these. So I was in Tanzania a couple of years ago building a church. I've been there a few times now. They and have grocery stores in yeah, Tanzania? Yeah, I was. I happen to be, when you go back to the airport, you have to go back to a main city. So we were on our way through Dar es Salaam, which mm -hmm. was where the, we caught our flight. Went to the grocery store. I like to buy cereal. I like to buy weird kinds of candy for the boys. I have two sons. And it's just, 
crazy stuff. And a lot of it tastes like garbage. But it's just so fun to see and to taste. That's you know, what I like to do. Go to another country, <laughs> buy some well. weird stuff they have that tastes like the garbage. garbage. Yeah. Oh my god. You can only bring home so many machetes. But you know what? <laughs> or carved wooden bowls. You know what's good about the stuff that tastes like garbage? It's probably so full of preservatives it's going to stay yeah. like that for 100 yeah. years. Well, <laughs> this have no preservatives in it. These are spices that were grown in East Africa and sold in the grocery store. This is cardamom, which is uh, a part of, uh, they make a, a tea in East Africa that's kind of spicy and really mm -hmm. yummy, a chai. That's what they call it, is chai. And cardamom is one of the key ingredients in that. So we're gonna use a little cardamom this morning as well. So like literally take two or three of these things and throw it in there and let it stew in its own juices. It's amazing. And this is cinnamon bark, also from East Africa. And it's got a really nice flavor to it. So we're gonna throw some Tastes cinnamon like bark. Cinnamon? Yeah, okay. like <laughs> cinnamon the way it's supposed to taste. So right. you can also use ground cinnamon or ground cardamom. You can buy it in any grocery store here. But this is in its you know nut and twig form right here. This is like the real, it's magical. It's magical. So you ready? So mm -hmm. we're, so we're about putting compost material in <laughs> That's right. Hey, so yes. Uh, very simple, very easy. I'm going to make... Do you guys have cups here? Uh, um, I have my cup right there from my coffee earlier. You know, you need a clean cup, man. Well, I do, in the other room. All right. I take it in. Well, I'll go look. Okay. Can, you can afford to be wild with me for a couple of seconds. All right. So oh, yeah. We, we need clean cups. It's going to take about three minutes or so once it starts its little thing. Should, should, um, should I play the, uh, ready for the locomotion? Yeah. Here we go. That's a good Coco song. So this is what we're doing. Uh, yeah, on the here we go, playing locomotion on the air right now. Perfect. So can people still hear us? Yeah, yeah. That's good. So it's whole milk, a little bit of sugar, and of course the chocolate. The chocolate. Has anyone made hot chocolate for you? On no, the I was before? just thinking that. <laughs> I was just thinking no one's ever we brought were... any kind of food stuff at all. So we could make it's the case funny. that we've already changed your life. Yes, you have. Like we haven't even gotten serious about changing your life. <laughs> <laughs> and we're life changing. Here this morning on Wolverine Radio. So we're talking about life change, man. It's funner than people know. All right, here we go. So this is, if Did I were to- Did you say funner? Yeah, funner. So if, <laughs> if I were to turn this thing on right now, yeah, okay. It, it would go everywhere. It, no, no, no. Because well, there's no top on it. It would make the best cup of hot chocolate you've ever had in your entire life. If I just okay. did it, you just saw like milk, that. sugar, and because hardly anybody makes it this way anymore. But, uh, you know, like Terry was saying, you can do this on the pot at home, uh, on the stove, but- oh, We all use Swiss Miss now. <laughs> it, and, and that, it's, it's, it gives you the idea of hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. It puts you in the ballpark of hot chocolate. This is home run hot chocolate, so you can smell the vanilla. Home run hot chocolate. You can this smell the vanilla. Name. All right, you home run hot chocolate, that's right. Stuff. So, and I'm not gonna use a whole lot of this because it is literal cinnamon bark, right? Yep. You, you gotta take that out after? No, you strain it with your teeth, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know this guy has never met me before. <laughs> it's, strange, it's hot chocolate. <laughs> Couldn't get a little rough uh, swallowing that piece of bark. Don't you know? don't swallow it. <laughs> it's like when I make chili and I put bay leaves in there. I always make sure after right. it's done you take them bay leaves well, out. Well, or that's how you figure out who does the dishes. <laughs> that's kind of hard to figure with my house. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. There it is. That's that's it. That's, that's everything it's right that there. That simple. And what's really cool about this thing is it senses. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much volume is in there. But that's it. And it will tell me when it's done. Because it'll stop. Really? Yeah. And it'll be the perfect temperature. It won't burn your tongue. And you can see it kind of gathers up on the sides here a little bit. It'll all be perfectly blended. You know, that can't be. The, that's not the best in the world, that, according to the Tim Allen movie. Because that little elf, when she gave Tim Allen her thing, she said, shake it, not stir it. And yours is being stirred. Mine is being stirred, but I'm not gonna fight against someone who's 1,200 years old. They, <laughs> they win. Yes, they, they, they win. They obviously know something I don't. Beauty, yes. Right. They so now, how long does it take from at this point here? A couple minutes, because it's only half a batch, maybe three minutes. Yep. All right. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause the video yeah. here. Yeah, 